banners as artworks have a very, very long tradition. They're a way of saying publicly what you feel on the inside. The banner generally is there to encapsulate a group of people and it's there to show what that group of people are fighting for or believing in. If you look at the suffragettes, I think we've learnt a lot from them in the way we mobilise women and that's our starting point in terms of fighting for equality. They had an incredible feel for the visual, they had their colours, there was the green and the purple and the white. They were genius as an advertising and marketing, basically. There was this wonderful artist called Mary Lowndes, and she wrote a little pamphlet on how to make a good banner, and it says at the end, let us go then and make banners and let them be beautiful. We're looking at ideas of what it means to be a 21st century woman today, and creating a whole community project that spans right across the UK, with women being encouraged to make banners, there will be processions on the streets in London, Edinburgh, Cardiff and Belfast on June the 10th and it will be a joyous moment where all women can join in to mark this historic moment of a century of women having the vote in this country. We're commissioning a hundred artists to work with a hundred organisations. It's a really important year to celebrate women's involvement in civic and political participation and we want to make sure that Muslim women also have their voices heard as part of the national discussions. It's part of Spartle's aim to include trans people in, in wider society as just regular people and by being a part of the Processions project, we are kind of fulfilling that obligation as just being another group of women. I believe that doing crafts within a support group setting is often very therapeutic. It's about all women coming together on a commonality and being able to raise their voices. We are very, very excited about the project that we're participating in. We wanted to mark out the significance of Holloway Prison and suffragette history. More than a thousand suffragettes were imprisoned there during the struggle for the vote. I'm working with female inmates in the prison and I think they'll be gaining confidence in their skills and their expression and the confidence they'll gain will be really important for their reinsertion afterwards. There's a feeling of real camaraderie when people take over the streets and do something that is hugely enjoyable and at the same time has great meaning. I hope that the impact of processions is a bit like those suffragette early rallies that in some way all bring alive hopes, concerns, cares that women and girls have today. There is still so much to do to achieve gender equality and this project is part of that uh, both recognition of what has happened in the past but an understanding of what's still to come.